Hello, Queen Lean Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Sh Chrono Trigger with me, Blue Inkula. Now, I just want to mention something kind of neat um, before we get into this episode. If you uh, keep an eye on your saves as you uh, progress through the game, the name of your save actually updates as you play through the game. So it's sort of... It's like a little story tip. And the current chapter we're in is The Queen Returns. And uh, I thought that's kind of a little neat little touch there, anyway. I won't see them all, because I won't remember to save every time that updates, but, uh... It's a neat little thing. Anyway, <clears throat> so here we are! We've come to the castle to see what's happened to the Queen Lean. Also, the soldiers look, you know, a little bit more medieval than they used to. And the music's changed. I've not seen your face before in those outlandish clothes! Does the Fiend Lord's agents wear outlandish clothes? Well, as it turns out, one of them does. They've got a reason for this. Um... Hey, hey, hey now! No need to be rude! I have a sword, and I've killed monsters with it. Don't be so rude. It's a familiar voice. Is it? Well, it's the queen, anyway, one way or the other. Wow! We're friends of royalty! Something strange about his luck? Hey now! Stop that! I love this, uh theme song as well, by the way. There's a lot of really good soundtracks, uh, songs in the soundtrack. <sighs> well, thank you, Queen Lean. You guys alright? Mm-hmm, you should envy me. Grovel! Alright, let's go say hello to the Queen. Where'd the Queen even go? Uh, yes, I totally helped save your wife. What befell, Lean? Uh... She's lost her coral hairpin. That is strange. Well, we'll go rest later on. I need to go talk to Lean first, I think. Hmm? Where are you going, Chancellor? Hmm? Where are you going? Well, we'll figure we'll follow him later. This is the King's Chambers. We don't want to go there. Knight's quarters are back to the left. The Queen's chambers are above, and she has requested us. You can't deny a lady her request. Also, treasure. And, uh, nothing. Most of these areas don't have a whole lot of treasure, to be fair. Her Majesty. Well, thanks. Such a nice guy. She's scarce aged a day! In fact, she looks younger than she used to. Well, that's suspicious. Hey now! Everybody's so rude to me! I'm dashing! Look at my hair! And how fast I can dash! Ooh! Chrono's really good with the ladies. I need a moment alone with my savior. Ooh! You have to press forward. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh. Hi, Marl. You having fun? Playing dress up? Got yourself quite the fancy dress. Hey, come on! Don't play that music! This music always makes me cry. But... You know me. I mean, we just met, but like, you know me. I'm gonna come help out, right? Of course. It's Chrono! Seriously, like, my eyes are tearing up. I can't hear this song and not tear up. This is crazy. Anytime. Wait, what's going on? Marl? Uh... That's not good. I don't know what to do. Marl? The disintegrator ray really did disintegrate her. It just took a while. Luca? What have you done? Well, this is great. 
Uh, please, uh, don't look into the room. Marl, uh, I mean, uh, the Lady Queen Lean is, uh, <clears throat> requested some privacy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Well, maybe a little untowards. <laughs> Gotta give him something to gossip about, right? Uh, no, 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 she, she seemed totally normal. Yeah, yeah, you're just, you're just worrying about nothing. Don't worry about her. Don't, don't rush in there or anything. Amen, brother. And I'll leave it at that. Well, uh, I think it's time to beat a hasty retreat. Time to go. Oh, wait, wait. Hi, Luca. Um, well, yes. But she might be dead now. Uh, you figured this would happen somehow? Right. Well, I was wondering about that. You're gonna have to explain this for me. Wait, what? Exactly, throw your hands up in the air. So, Marl, you're telling me, is actually the Princess Nadia, who's a descendant of Queen Lee. So, we were consorting with the princess all along, who is rather tomboyish and wild, according to the gossip, and drives her father nuts. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, probably nine generations there, sorry, not four. I was keeping track. Anyway, um. Right. So we just changed history. Great. So we sent Marl, or Nadia, back in time. Great. And then, basically, they called off the search. So now the queen dies. And we've just basically gone over the plot to Black and Future. Awesome! So now she'll never even be born. And probably just ruin the world. Awesome. So you've just essentially killed my girlfriend that I met for one trip to the fair. You teleported her back in time and then caused her to basically never be born. Awesome. Thanks, Luca. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Well, I mean, we could try to be the hero here. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so, I mean, come on. I was playing dumb, but like, I already know the story, guys. I gotta let the story explain itself without me doing it all. Anyway, uh, now we got Luca. Who is, uh, well, she uses a gun. It's an air gun. And, uh, the sight scope is actually quite nice, so, uh, we'll keep that equipped for a while. Although she, Luca is, I believe, the slowest character? Pretty sure she's the slowest base speed. Uh, which is one of the reasons I don't generally keep her around for a long time, but, um, I could switch this headband over to her. But I want to show you guys what the sight scope does for the first, for now, but, um, she probably could really use that speed, basically. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no problems. No problem, King. Uh, don't worry about it. I, uh, yeah, I rescued the Queen. Awesome. Great. I'm still a little bit worried that, uh, you know, someone will check her chambers. Oh, look. That's, uh, number six, I think. I'm losing count. Hello, Chancellor. What are you doing up here looking at the wall? Like, like that's, that's the King's Chambers. What are you doing up here? I'm just saying hello. You're the one acting suspicious. Look, even the guards know that he's being weird. Sneaking around. A froggish creature? What is this all about? A curse? No doubt, he's a Fiendlard spy. Probably doesn't mean anything. <laughs> People think the Chancellor's strange, but I don't find it troubling at all. He goes to the Cathedral every day. Well, that's the second person that's mentioned the Cathedral. Hey, look, it's some armor. This is why you shouldn't really worry about buying all everything. You do get a lot of armor from uh, treasure and stuff. 
and then we can just hand me down. Oh no, she came with a padded vest, so she started with a tier 2 armor anyway. We could theoretically save that for Marl, who may not stay dead. I don't know. I mean, she was on the character list there for a while. She could equip it if she wasn't disintegrated. Alright, well, they did tell us about the Knight's Quarters. We should probably check them out. Oh, also, I think uh, Luke comes with a tech. No, she doesn't come with it. But she'll learn this one quick enough. She is our fire type. I guess I could have shown you Marl. She's going to be our water type. Also really good at healing. Or ice, not water. Ice, sorry. Zanan Bridge. Alright. Well, I mean, the bridge has been destroyed, so surely you're fine, right? If only... That's the second person that's mentioned Sir Cyrus as well. Yes, I've definitely heard of Sir Cyrus. I wonder if he's the one that's supposed to save the queen. A vile beast named Yakra lived in the western forest. Ah, oh, but the cathedral probably scared away all the vile monsters. That makes sense. Commander of the Knighthood, Sir Cyrus. Ten years ago, he and a lone friend departed on a quest, and no one has heard from them since. Cyrus and a friend, huh? Refocus on the war, awesome. Something must be afoot. Alright, well, let's have a rest. It's free! And there's even a bed for Luca, isn't that convenient? Alright. Heals everybody up. We don't even have to spend money to go to the inn now. Alright, uh, there is one more place to go. We haven't checked out the right side of the castle. The dining hall. Best place in the castle, right? Well, Master of Kitchens might be a little bit cranky. It's true. I'm welcome. I mean, the king thinks we're a good guy, right? Oh. He's dying of hunger? We'll just go s grab some food, dude. Did they give him, like, an entire ham? It looks pretty tasty. Nom nom nom. Alright, it's cool. I mean, these guys take their food real serious. Cooking is at least three stars. That's pretty good for army food, I gotta say. Well, let's go check with the cook first. Also, let's grab some loot. Uh, yes, we are, uh, acquainted. <laughs> the gossip has spread to the castle. No place in my kitchen. What's this ice cream that Her Majesty wants? <laughs> so, uh, I guess you could have gone here before you visited the Queen and you might have had a bit of a hint. Oh, what's this? Is it the commander of the guard? And some knights? The new commander. It's not the old commander, Cyrus. This is the new guy. Where is our food and drink? Wow. That's pretty rude. Takes some time to cook food, you know. Yeah, I'm putting my line on the life on the line in the kitchen every day. Wow. You guys like really don't get along. Gee guys, take it easy. Well, I mean, I can see the commander's under some stress. Like the the, the kingdom's being invaded and he hasn't done a very good job of stopping the fiend lord. But that, uh, the rudeness with the chef there, that doesn't seem appropriate. <laughs> yeah, clearly. What's up with you guys? Arrogant jackanapes. 
Well, I mean, you know, he's the one that gets, you know, beaten up and probably has his soldiers killed. I don't think too many people die in the kitchen. Huh. Alright, well, you know. I tried. Do I get any food? What about me? Please, sir, can I have some food? I would like a power stew. This sounds awesome. Power stew me up. Are they, like, using a jackhammer to make power stew? Hmm, thanks. Chrono does really like to eat food. Um, like I said, he's got a few things in common with Goku. One or two. Alright, well, uh, you know, we tried. Alright, well, uh... I mean, that was, that was fun. So now where do you want to go? Where do you guys think we should go? Apparently, Queen Lean is, uh much dead and uh, pretty much ruined history. I guess we have to try to save the real queen now. Um, I don't know where, where they were going to find her, but uh, clearly they weren't going to find her to the north of town. And uh, I guess I should check if there's anything I'm, I can buy uh, Luca first. So this is kind of funny, but uh, she uses, you know, guns and uh, oddly, oddly enough, even in uh, in the year 600, uh, they had the ability to make guns. So we could buy her a helm. I think I, I mean, two attack is not much, but I do want to, I do want to upgrade her attack power if I can. She's probably never going to do anywhere near, I think, I generally figure Luca and Marl do about half the damage of Chrono. So, like, it's good to improve her abilities, but... Physical damage is never really going to be her thing. They're generally about half as strong physically as a, as a Chrono. All right, well, we got a slightly better uh, weapon there. I guess, how much how, how much am I short for the new armor? I got enough, all right, good. So we get fully equipped. No need to sell any uh, potions or anything. Awesome. All right, good. But yeah, I mean, she starts quite a lot weaker than Chrono physically, and she'll never get stronger. Never catch up with Chrono. Well, I mean, uh, we keep hearing about this cathedral, right? Better check it out. Peace of the world. Why are you laughing? They just want a piece of the world? Hmm. Deliver your judgment? It's not a very nice thing to say for a, for a, a uh, nun. Future for ourselves. Wait, what? Something weird about these nuns. Why are they all laughing? Hmm. We should check this sparkle out. Hairpin. It's a coral hairpin. Hey, 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 nuns. We found... Why are they on fire? Oh. Well, uh... Oh, it turns out the nuns were snake ladies. And they're actually nagas. So, um... You know, that happened. Now, these are actually fairly strong enemies. I didn't do any leveling up. It would be beneficial if Luca had, uh... Saying if Luca had her flamethrower attack by now, I'll try to get these double hits where I can. At least they keep wasting their slow spell on Luca. Chrono's gonna do like the vast majority of the work for this battle. A little bit of a mini boss, I guess. Uh, and you can see there um, on the the bottom screen if you can, it'll show you the HP bars for people now. That's because of the uh, the fancy scope that uh, Luca's got equipped. Oh, I should have had her finish this one off. I did it backwards. My bad. Luca could have killed the one with very low HP, and then Chrono could have double uh, tapped the one on the right, two on the right. Oh well, we're fine. These guys aren't really hitting as hard as I remembered. Maybe because I forgot to buy the uh, armor the first time I fought them or something. But, uh, we should be fine. 
I just I know the uh, the flamethrower is actually very very strong against them, but we'll get it soon enough. Lots of gold too. Pretty nice. Yeah, that was a bit unusual. We weren't expecting the nuns to try to kill us. There's another one! Luca! Oh. None of vines and vows. Hello, strange frog! Well, yes. Yes, we have. Now, just gonna say it. Frog's the best. Look, Luca, the frog saved your life. Be nice to the frog. It's true, he looks a little strange. We haven't heard his theme song yet. You'll like it. Uh, you don't seem like a bad frog or person-like thing. Look, we're going with the frog. He might- look, he's a frog, he understands, he's slimy, okay? He's a reptile. So, because we're really nice, we're gonna call the frog creature, Frog. I mean, he has a name. I know his name, I'm not putting it in here. Because it would be a spoiler. We're gonna call him Frog anyway. Frog will survive. In indeed, verily so. I always felt so bad calling him Frog, because he looks like a frog. Ah, hidden passage. Verily, thy... There's, we're missing all of the really cool medieval ac accent he's supposed to have. Anyway, Frog is, uh, well, he's far more physically adept than uh, Luca. So if we have a quick look at some stats here. Frog here, he's got the power glove. He knows what's up. And, uh, he's actually got the same attack power as Chrono right now, give or take. I think, generally speaking, he'll be slightly weaker attack-wise than Chrono, but very close. And, like, a little bit slower, a little bit weaker, but pretty close. Um, he actually does a lot better for crits, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, but we're gonna switch over to Power Glove mode and slightly less slow mode. The, uh... You guys got to see the sight scope. It's cool. It shows you how much HP enemies have left, but I'd generally rather go quicker or uh, attack harder. He comes with some pretty good armor and weapons. Um, now, one thing of note here is although they both use, you know, swords, Frog uses, like, your traditional medieval sword, long sword type thing. Uh, Chrono uses more of a katana type thing, so uh, they can't switch weapons. It's only blades right now for Chrono and only swords right now for Frog is also water elemental, as you can see, which is kind of neat. So if you look at our techs, he starts with Slurp, so he can heal. That's pretty nice. And he'll learn a Slash soon enough. So that's cool. Um, all right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, uh, we do need to figure out what to do in here, and it's, uh, you know, if you're thinking about it, there was, like, the piano was guarded by one of the monsters. Oh, a hidden door. All right, welcome to the first real dungeon. We're getting some dancing uh, monsters. They're called Diablos. Uh, I just want to see how much this heals, I forget. So he just, that's what she gets, you know? That's what she gets. She was complaining that he was all slimy and gross. And the first thing he does is Lixer. Isn't that great? Now I think... Try to remember the HP of these monsters. I think you can kill them with one hit from Chrono and Luca together. So it's... You can, you can kind of speed through it a little bit quicker if you, um... If you do a little bit of, uh... What am I trying to say? Um... Like, Chrono and Frog probably shouldn't attack the same monster. We should, like... Luca damage one. Because if Chrono or Frog get a crit, they will one shot them. Kind of a thing. Hoping for that crit. Uh oh. 
Couldn't sneak by. They found me. I guess Frog is going quite quick this step these days. So I got some Vipers. Oh, they just split up in just the last second, so I couldn't get a double hit there. I kind of wasted it. Yeah, monsters will do that, you know. Yeah, so I think the Vipers have a little bit more HP than the uh, Diablos. Having the Sight Scope is certainly convenient. It just doesn't really help you do more damage or anything. There we go. Dual Techs? So, you know, the reason I was thinking about Chrono Trigger after all that I am Setsuna is while there, there were sort of dual techs in I am Setsuna, but Chrono Trigger makes it so much easier. <laughs> so, you don't have to worry about equipping skills or anything, you just keep all the skills you've learned. And if there is a dual tech between two characters in your party, you just automatically learn it and it's just selectable. So, um, we've gotten a Cyclone which does a circle area of effect, and Flamethrower, which does a direct line. You combine them together, and you get a circle of fire. Now, they both spend a bit of MP, so um, I think it costs a little bit more, right? Well, Luca's only down one MP, so it's just, it just adds them together. It's simple enough. That's right. Uh, dual text cost the original spells or text cost of MP. I don't think there's any- there's no, like, sneaking up on enemies or nothing. That would be a cool addition, but, uh... You know, you don't get any, like, sneak attacks by, uh... Enemy strikes first, or... Like, basically, we can't just sneak up and get a first strike. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, lots of- I mean, I was thinking, like, I've been watching some Persona lately, and there's generally a way to, like, sneak up on enemies and get the first strike, but... We don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You know, I should really show off- we're gonna have to end the episode pretty soon. We're not gonna be able to finish this dungeon. Well, I say that, it's actually a really short dungeon. Maybe we can just finish it off. A Maiden Suit? Probably can equip that to our one Maiden. There you go. More defense. Good stuff. Now, I believe in this room... This doesn't happen very often, but this is one of those random sort of looking click on something to get a hidden item. So we got a Nega Bromide. What does that do? Well, that's a mystery. Trying to steal our bromide, are ya? Get him, boys! Now, the, the problem with Fire Whirl... Uh, for one, they're not all grouped up perfectly. But you do have to wait for everyone... For dual techs in general, for everyone to be, uh... Oh, there's a lot of damage. Such a good ability. Um, you have to wait for everyone to be ready. So if you're only doing dual techs, Chrono is kind of wasting, like, half of his actions because you're waiting for um, Luca all the time. Now, it does enough damage right now that it's clearly worth it. So don't worry about it. But, um, like, Slash on its own is pretty good. I'm just saying. You know, sometimes waiting for another character kind of decreases the value. You, generally, the best dual techs are by characters with similar speeds. So if you've got two people with about the same speed, using their dual techs because they come up at the same turn order is about, it's pretty useful. Um, what was I coming here to check? Uh, oh, the Nega Bromide, right. So, um... That's the Pendants from, uh... From Marl. Sight Scope, Padded Vest... It doesn't even show it here. It's weird, right? Don't worry, we have it. It just doesn't show it in the inventory for some reason. Now, this looks weird. Oh, wait. I'm not supposed to know that. <laughs> the Steel Saber! There we go. Another one of the reasons not to buy super amazing weapons right now. Just get a better- I think this is like almost as good as the Silver Sword. Well, no, no. The Silver Sword did more damage. But for this- this part in the game, it's pretty strong. So, um, how can we get over the spikes? It's really difficult. I remember that stumbling me as a kid for a little while. That's pretty good. So what are you guys up to? They've hidden the queen in the back! Please rescue her! A shrine to the Fiend Lord. Hmm. We'll have to look for that. Alright, well that's the left side done. I want to do the left side first because the right... It had some cool weapons and stuff. Ah, uh, 
that's right, you can't sneak by these ones. Wish there was like an auto battle feature, because most of these fights aren't too difficult. Oh, I should show off normal flamethrower. One of the biggest perks for normal flamethrowers, it's only one SP, so it doesn't really cost you much. You can spam it for quite a while. And it has the line attack, which, uh... Well, we'll use it on the next fight then, if I can. We haven't really seen that line attack AoE skill yet. I suppose we probably should get healed up pretty soon, too. Well, seeing as Frog uh, has a healing ability, maybe give it a bit of use. So you can use these from uh, from the menu, obviously. I feel like it's pretty good. One SP for 40 or 50 HP, that's not bad. The efficient healing. Oh. Hey guys, what's up with the disguises? Well, they just think we're monsters in disguise. They're so smelly and repulsive. They're not very smart, are they? Also, awesome music. Wait a second. Yakras imprisoned the Chancellor and took on his role? Terrible! Oh, they were gonna say some more there. Oh, I think we missed a little bit of. Shoot, I left a little bit too quick. He said he was going to go check in on something. I can't remember the exact quote. And then as you leave, you can see him heading up this way. So you follow him to find another secret. Like, oh look, we saved the queen and the king and the soldier. Hey guys. I'm just going to grab this treasure here. So, uh, what's going on? Why are you here? Oh, you don't need to be rescued. Yakra is very kind. Mm. Pass the time in here with us. Well, it's been nice, but maybe we should... Did you guys guess that it was a trap? Uh, yeah, I want to use Fire Whirl. You know it. Got a whirl. It's full of fire. Got to use it. It's, it's, it's so much damage. It's so good. All right, snake's dead. Frog learned Slurp Slash, X Strike. So um, this is one of the more useful abilities. Um, so Frog Slurp Slash, you know, it's all right. X-Strike, though, really solid, and one of the reasons it's good is because, like I was saying earlier, Chrono and Frog have very similar speeds, generally. So they'll... you can have, say, uh, Luca doing something else on her own, like healing or using magic or whatever, and uh, these two can just keep basically at the same sort of pace, keep attacking together. Also, maybe we should check what's over here. Oh, Great Magus, Magus the Great. Your eyes are brighter than the stars. Your flowing hair like waves up on the sea, atop the sea. Even those miserable sunny days abate when we feel your seething hate. Ever, even brightened halls hold no fear. Just so long as you are near. This is, um... Strange. That's some loot. I kind of missed the chorus there accidentally. Um... So we picked up a speed belt, which is even faster than a headband. And having Luca be faster is what I want. Now we can also equip a guardian bangle. Stamina is just straight up defense, so if you want to decrease the damage you take a little bit, there's your option. I don't generally think adding defense from an accessory is very valuable, at least not at this point. But uh, it's there if you want it. I generally prefer damage and speed. Magus, oh Lord Magus, you are our fiend lord and savior. Oh. Guess they're not friendly. 
Well, now, the thing with X-Strike is single target. If you want to do AoE stuff, you gotta use Fire World. Now, I realize Chrono has now used all of his SP. That's okay, don't worry about it. Oh, I should be attacking. Now, just because I want to show it off, but this is what the normal flamethrower looks like. It's also pretty good. It's better if you can, like, group up a bunch of enemies to hit them all at the same time. But... Alright, now there should be a reasonably close save point. I remember my Chrono Trigger lore correctly. I think we just need to fight our way up this middle hall here. Sneak by one or two, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if you can sneak past these ones. Ah! Okay, look, we're gonna fight him anyway, but you could we could have snuck past. I just wanted to prove that you could be sneaky. And now we're gonna kill him anyway. And seriously, it's early in the game. We could definitely use some level ups. I would like to get Chrono's next tech, actually. It'd be quite nice. Alright, this is what I was looking for. So we're not quite done the dungeon yet. But these are, are save points, like they mentioned in the uh, the first town, which you can use... Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably use this, I guess. Or have some more strength. Um, you can use shelters here. How do we do it in this version? Uh, is it on the save screen? We can save it. So we're trying to save the princess, the vanished princess. They even tell you the name of the cathedral here. Uh, is it there? Surely, did I never buy a shelter? That must be my bad. I thought, maybe I never bought one. I thought you would have found one by now or something. There must be a free shelter they give you around here. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's just end the episode here. We saved it. It's, all, it's no big deal. Next episode, we'll explore the rest of the dungeon and try to save the queen or the princess or something. And maybe we'll find a shelter to rest up before we fight any kind of boss. Because we're clearly running out of tech points. <laughs> Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.